Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. We are two sisters, Southern Cooking. Debbie, I'm in my kitchen in Warner Robins today, and tomorrow Elsie and I are going to be doing our cookout. So we're doing hamburgers and hot dogs. We're going to be making our hamburger buns today, our hot dog buns today. So this is going to take 24 hours to proof in the refrigerator, and then we'll take them over, set them up for their second rise, and then we'll bake them. But right now, I'm going to be making our Boston baked beans. Now you know that I'm allergic to tomatoes and ketchup, so. We are making these without tomatoes and ketchup, so I can enjoy them too. So this is gonna take about six to eight hours to soak, and then I'm gonna drain them, put them in the refrigerator in a sealed bowl, take them over there tomorrow, we'll put them in the crock pot with all the other ingredients, and we'll cook them up and we'll have some good eating, y'all. So stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I've already got one bag of beans in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my second bag of navy beans. So, this is a one pound bag of navy beans. Just gonna put them in here. This is chilled water. So I'm going to go ahead and let this soak for eight hours and going to let them just sit up, let them get all nice and plump. Then I'm gonna take them out, put them in a bowl with a lid on it after I drain them and then we'll put them in the refrigerator so they don't ferment because if you leave the beans out at room temperature, for any length of time past eight hours, they start to ferment. Um, and you don't want to leave them in water past 12 hours because they start to lose their texture and the sturdiness of the outside of their shell. So you want to make sure that they don't stay in the water longer than 12 hours. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. After I drain them, put them in the refrigerator, we're gonna leave them in the fridge um, in a sealed container and then we will go ahead and start making our baked beans for tomorrow. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, it's Debbie. So we are going to go ahead and get started on our baked beans. So this morning when I got to my sister's, I went ahead and put my beans on the stove and cooked them for about 30 minutes just to make sure the cooking process has started and I have it still in the water that it was cooked in. So I had soaked them for eight hours yesterday and then I took them out and drained them, put them in the fridge because you don't want them to ferment because then you'll have some digestive issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So this is two pounds of beans. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in one of a diced red onion. 12 ounces of bacon, and I took the scissors to them and cut them. I did not cook them prematurely because this is actually going to cook for about five to six hours, depending on how long it takes for it to finish. And I have a half a cup of brown sugar, and of course I have to put in the rest of my, before I put the molasses in. So I'm going to put in one tablespoon of dry mustard and one teaspoon. So, give me just a second here. And then we'll go to put in one teaspoon. So this is a half. And that was a whole. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in one teaspoon of salt and about a teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm actually going to pour in my molasses. I have a half a cup of molasses. Now this takes the place of the ketchup because remember I can't have any ketchup. I'm allergic to tomatoes. So this recipe is strictly without any kind of ketchup whatsoever. And I enjoy finding recipes that I actually can eat. So this was a big deal to me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up, guys. 
We're going to get it in the crock pot. I'm going to start it out on high for five hours and then I will see how it's doing. Because I did pre-cook it, it's going to make it a little easier to cook faster and it won't take as long. So we will see you guys when it comes out of the crock pot. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.